It seems like everything Nintendo except for new Zelda games leaked these days. We saw it with Mario, recently with Pokemon, and now regarding a revised new Nintendo Switch model. Actually, this is the second somewhat credible update, or if you prefer rumor in 2021, after a past data mine of Nintendo firmware unearthed the codenames Orla and Calcio. And today we'll be focusing on both, but mostly on the so-called Orla, with a 7-inch display compared to the current Switch 6.2-inch display. Well, that and ditching the long outdated mini LCD in favor of a Samsung 720p OLED display. So be sure to leave a like and most of all share this video so more people can watch it. The report comes from the renowned financial media house Bloomberg and the well-trusted journalist Takashi Mochizuki, who has been covering the Switch Pro extensively over the last year and now has received the following information from internal employees at Samsung. According to this one, the South Korean tech giant is preparing mass production of 7-inch 720p OLED displays for Nintendo from June, which will be delivered to Nintendo's assemblers from July 2021. Remember, Bloomberg is not a gaming media outlet, but the world's largest financial media house that updates current and potential Nintendo stockholders of developments that is likely to impact their investments. Hence why this report should be taken seriously, unlike 4chan, Reddit and Reset Era posts. And one reason to take this one as credible is that it does not only include display specifications but also planned production numbers. Since Bloomberg is reporting a production rate of right below 1 million displays per month, beginning from June, in other words, rather limited quantities, which could result in PlayStation-like shortages for the 5 million displays in the revised model if it releases this holiday season, and with that setting the dream stage for another scalper paradise. Luckily, you will not need this model to play the latest Nintendo games since it seems to just be an upgrade to the Switch instead of a replacement of the Switch, much like the PS4 Pro was not the replacement of PS4, but rather an alternative to play PlayStation 4 games at a better resolution and frame rate. But if you want to play your Nintendo games at the best resolutions and frame rate and detail both docked and undocked, you may have to set aside or save up some money. Since this is internal employees at Samsung that we're talking about, and who have shared this information under promised anonymity provided by Bloomberg. Much like Bloomberg previously provided anonymity and reported in late 2020 that developers have been told by Nintendo to prepare upscaled 4K ready titles. Obviously not upscaled 4K for the displays, as those will remain at 720p, but apparently with a rigged OLED display, which Nintendo seemed to ordering in mass. And it makes total sense, as these displays consume less battery, offer higher contrast levels and color vibrancy, which is a well-known issue in games like Breath of the Wild. And also, it could offer higher response levels, a significant upgrade to the Nintendo Switched undock display experience, which has remained unchanged since March 2017. More importantly, Importantly, an OLED display takes up far less space than an LCD within the Switch build, leaving more space for other components. This is crucial as Nintendo could use this freed up room to boost the power of the system and with it improve the resolution and frame rate in docked mode, which most of all, beside the right graphic chips, also creates space for additional cooling, which is necessary for more demanding titles at high resolutions and frame rates. But back to the display for now as this revised model is not reported to have the flexible OLED that we find in Samsung's flagship smartphones, but rather the sharply declining in price due to oversupply rigid OLED, cheaper and considerably better than the current LCD displays found on the Nintendo Switch. Another reason as stated by Bloomberg for such a move is that by outsourcing the production of these displays to Samsung, Nintendo can at least to some degree circumvent the massive semiconductor shortage that Sony and Microsoft are currently facing. OLED is also known to look very crisp even on lower resolutions, as seen in the past from the PlayStation Vita's 540p OLED display which looks good to this day. The same should be the case with a revised Switch XL and the reported 7 inches, which will reduce the current bezel between the display and the system's edges. This also reported by Bloomberg alteration makes total sense, seeing that the current Switch display is not exactly filling up the entire space, reducing this rather significant bezel, uh, well, this black area, will alone improve the undocked experience. In fact, it looks like Nintendo has deliberately teamed up closely with both Samsung for its display and Nvidia for its processing and graphical power to deliver the best Switch model yet. One that provides an improved display and with upscaling technology for docked players.
display, all thanks to Samsung's rigid OLED and Nvidia's DLSS 2.0 AI upscaler technology, which has been shown to efficiently improve resolutions, detail and frame rate, even on Nvidia-powered tablet devices, similar to the Nintendo Switch. And the latter is of importance as it goes in line with the Bloomberg article which also stated a docked upscaled 4K functionality. This point also brings us to the big elephant in the room, the lack of footage since the reveals of Metroid Prime 4, Bayonetta 3 and most of all the sequel to The Legend of Zelda. Breath of the Wild. Well, actually primarily the last one as we have probably seen in-engine footage from this one unlike the other two, but has clearly been held back and seems to be held back some more for exactly this kind of system revision. Obviously not a successor to the Nintendo Switch, but a revision a top model of it. Much like they held back the new Nintendo 3DS in the West until it could be launched day and date with Majora's Mask 3D in early 2015. And to those of you complaining about Switch Pro videos on the channel, I am sorry but I'm doing my job as a Nintendo tuber, going over what seems to become now the greatest Switch overhaul since its 2017 launch, and how this revision is likely impacting the current lineup which it seems to be only filled with ports, remasters and remakes until big titles like Pokemon Legends are Arceus and Splatoon 3 begin popping up in early and mid-2022, aka perfectly lined up for a Switch Pro this fall or holiday. Which also goes in line with a few other videos we have recently uploaded, like these two regarding Breath of the Wild's sequels marketing and release being tied to a Switch Pro or Excel, and that with this one and the now reported production, we could see both sometime in the October, November or December timeframe of 2021. Naturally, the Nintendo Switch has turned 4 years old after it came out in March 2017 with Zelda Breath of the Wild. And we also know that the Switch Lite came out in September 2019 with the Link's Awakening remake. So it now seems plausible but also probable that in 2021, and likely with a Switch Pro or Excel, we would get Zelda Breath of the Wild sequel two years after that again in October and November. We know that this launch window in end of October, early November makes total sense, as you get an initial boost at launch, then an immediate second boost for Black Friday, and finally the big December holiday boost. But then, a limited quantity Switch Excel or Pro model is likely to be outsold, especially in the massive North American market, long before that. At the same time, I have to pour some cold water regarding some of these absolutely incredible and at this point close to factual reports specifically when it comes to the 4K rumors, which yes, remain rumors for now as this statement in the Bloomberg article does not have the same Samsung internal backing as the 7-inch 720p rigid OLED display. Upscaled 4K requires a new chip and a performance boost for the Nintendo Switch, and we don't know specifically about this one at the current moment, especially since we know that the Switch currently is not even able of outputting more demanding titles at 1080p. Breath of the Wild is struggling to maintain 30 frames per second at 900p and the same goes for Super Mario Odyssey at maintaining 60 frames per second at a resolution of 900p. And based on the reveal trailer of Breath of the Wild's sequel, we know that it's using newer particle effects and lighting, which could require additional power to perform well at resolutions above 720p. But for now at least, Nvidia's involvement with a revision of the current model has remained a well-guarded secret and only a subject of rumors apart from the datamined code names suggesting both a display and a potential dock that could boost graphical and performance fidelity. But once again, my personal opinion about all of this is that an equivalent jump in terms of resolutions, detail and frame rate stability to what we saw between the PS4 and PS4 Pro in late 2016 is great as we want a significant boost to play the most ambitious upcoming Nintendo Switch titles come late 2021 and throughout 2022 not in native 4K, let's not fool ourselves. But Breath of the Wild's sequel in 1080p, 60 frames per second and some DLSS upscaling magic would be very cool. Naturally, revisions like these will anger the people who just bought a Nintendo Switch or just another one. And to that, I have this to say. Console manufacturing is going into the direction of mid-gen revisions. And I have also been warning you in multiple videos now to wait with your purchase of a Nintendo Switch. Mostly also since currently there are no brand new Nintendo Switch titles in sight until June and no big system sellers until late in 2021. And the reason is simple, as Nintendo hardware announcements usually are tied with big new Switch software announcements, lineups and release windows. 
In the four years of the Nintendo Switch, and the five years we've been covering this system, and first the codename NX, on the channel, we've had two brilliant years when it comes to combined hardware and software. 2017 and 2019 with plenty of new first-party games and two slower years which had no system revisions and new hardware, namely 2018 and 2020, which both had only one big new system seller each, Super Smash Bros Ultimate and Animal Crossing New Horizons. And what did 2017 and 2019 have in common? New hardware models. Only that in 2021 it looks like it might arrive a little bit later, even than in 2019, towards the end of the year. Say that we get an initial Zelda launch to close off 2021, and then leading us into an absolutely incredible 2022 with the first ever open world Pokemon, Splatoon 3, and so on. But what do you think about all of this? Are you already putting off money to a Nintendo Switch XL 7-inch OLED? And with hopefully the first complete Zelda Switch bundle, sound off in the comment section down below. If you haven't already, then be sure to press that like button, subscribe to the Commonwealth Realm for more Switch, Zelda and Pokemon videos, and press that notification bell and again for all notifications to not miss any upcoming videos. Finally, as always, a big thanks goes to our patreon.com slash commonrun patrons, and in particular our royal producer Charles Shash. And to all of you still watching, please enjoy one or both of these two awesome videos. Oh, and please Nintendo fix the Joy-Con drifting in this one. Seriously, we, we don't want it.